Fibromyalgia is a painful and debilitating disease. WDSU medical editor Dr. Corey Bear joins us this morning with tips to help diagnose and relieve the pain. All new in this morning's Weekend House Call. Fibromyalgia has always been a controversial medical syndrome in which a person has long-term whole body pain and tenderness in the joints, muscles, tendons, and other soft tissues. Fibromyalgia has also been linked to fatigue, sleep problems, headache, depression, and anxiety. The cause is unknown, but the possible causes or triggers of fibromyalgia include physical or emotional trauma, abnormal pain response, sleep disturbances, and infections such as a virus, although none has been identified and fibromyalgia is most common among women aged 20 to 50. The main symptom of fibromyalgia is pain. The pain can range from mild to severe, and the painful areas are called tender points. Tender points are found in the soft tissue on the back of the neck, shoulders, chest, lower back, hips, shins, elbows, and knees. The pain then spreads out from these areas. The pain may feel like a deep ache or a shooting burning pain. The joints are not affected, although the pain may feel like it's coming from the joints. People with fibromyalgia tend to wake up with body aches and stiffness, and for some patients, pain improves during the day and gets worse at night. Some patients have all-day pain. Pain may get worse with activity, cold or damp weather, anxiety, and stress. Fatigue, depressed mood, and sleep problems are always seen in patients with fibromyalgia. This is very important. To make the diagnosis of fibromyalgia, you must have had at least three months of widespread pain and pain and tenderness in at least 11 of the 18 areas or trigger points, including arms, buttocks, chest, knees, lower back, neck, rib cage, shoulders, or thighs. Blood and urine tests are usually normal. However, tests may be done to rule out other conditions that may have similar symptoms. Fibromyalgia can be debilitating, so the goal of treatment is to help relieve the pain and other symptoms and to help a person cope with the physical symptoms and the psychological depression which can occur. Treatment may involve physical therapy, exercise programs, stress relief methods, and even acupuncture. If these treatments don't work, your doctor may prescribe an antidepressant or a muscle relaxant or traditional pain medications. The goal of medication is to improve sleep and pain tolerance. Cymbalta, Lyrica, and Savella are medications that are approved specifically for treating fibromyalgia. But many other drugs are used to treat the condition, including anti-seizure drugs, antidepressants, or sleeping aids. Cognitive behavioral therapy is also a very important part of treatment, and medicine should always be used along with exercise and behavior therapy. Support groups are also very helpful. For my patients, I always recommend eating a well-balanced diet, avoid caffeine, and practice good sleep routines to improve the quality of sleep. Fibromyalgia is a long-term disorder. Sometimes the symptoms improve. Other times the pain may get worse and continue for months or years. Please go to the National Fibromyalgia Association website or www.fmaware.org to get more information. I'm medical editor Dr. Corey Bear with your Weekend House Call.